squirrels. We can actually chase down some squirrels. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, and there's cars. I wonder if our dogs can chase cars. We're gonna have so much fun. And there's people in suits and a bat. Is that a bat or a hawk? Oh, who knows? You can never know what to expect with the Ultimate Simulators. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ultimate Dog Simulator. And we are here with our beautiful Great Dane Fawn. Look at her, isn't she lovely? Look, she's like a hunting dog. She's like, I'm gonna get it, I am ready. I am gonna point at things, I am gonna tackle them, I am gonna chase all the squirrels, I'm gonna chase all the people. This is awesome. But so many of you guys love the gluten-free games and I know you have been waiting to have some of those awesome animal simulators. <laughs> oh my goodness, talk about a mouthful. Back inside of our Pixel Biology Adventures and so here we are with the newest of the gluten-free games. Those awesome app games you can find on the Android uh, Google Play Store or the Apple Store if you are in the mood to play a pretty easy, uh, pretty interesting uh, little app game that has to do with animals. And it is available now. And a lot of you guys have been requesting it. And because you loved Ultimate Jungle Simulator, Ultimate Cat Simulator, Ultimate Forest Simulator, and so many of the Ultimate Simulators so much, I thought we would dive into some adventures with Fawn, our Great Dane. And she is not the only kind of dog that you can have in the Ultimate Dog Simulator either. Dun dun dun. Just like every single Ultimate Simulator, you can actually specifically train up the individual dogs. You build up their vitality, their strength, their dexterity, and their intelligence. You can give them different buff points. And this kind of made me laugh because I know it says hiss and meow right now. I think that's left over from Ultimate Cat Simulator. So don't worry. I'm sure it means growl and bark. But you can uh, get little buffs so that they can do special things uh, when you are chasing down the prey that you want to eat or chasing away some of the creatures that you need to defeat. And I hear there's even a dog catcher somewhere in the world that you have to run from, which sounds pretty awesome. You've got special skills. We can locate the nearest enemies, channel the quick healing, gain temporary speed boost, just like all of the ultimate simulators. Or the thing I know you guys are really here for, you can turn yourselves into different kinds of dogs. Woo! And you can do different skins. You can get different appearances for each dog and even change the color of your dogs in case you're feeling a little bit of that early Sims 4 cats and dog magic and you want to have a blue Great Dane, you could go for a blue Great Dane. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead. Can I see? Oh, look at that. Fawn, you're so pretty. Oh my gosh, I made her blue. <laughs> you can make her blue or green or just leave her normal colors if you want to leave her normal colors. And you can change yourselves into different types of dogs, like the German Shepherd, which is currently locked at the moment. I think you have to like unlock it and then you can become a German Shepherd, but it would be really fun to be a stray German Shepherd dog. You can become a cute little beagle. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I definitely want to be a little baby beagle. You can be Dalmatians, Mastiffs, Bull Terriers, Sheepdogs, Rottweilers, Labradors, and a French Bulldog. You unlock all of these dogs by reaching higher levels and then you can become that dog, like species, I suppose you could say. That dog breed. There we go. You can become that dog breed. And once you unlock higher levels, you get new slots so that you can build up your very own stray dog pack and that is our goal this time around that is what we are going to be trying to do is keeping the stray dog fawn whose family moved away and left her behind uh, alive and well and we are going to be trying to make it so that she can have lots of members in her dog pack i hope you guys will provide lots of names and doggy stories down in the comments below so that we can know what to name fawn's new family members that we will be adding in as we discover different kinds of dogs in the world and what we could possibly name her puppies because Fawn will eventually be able to even have new puppies, not just become a new, a new type of dog, but she may be able to have puppies, which would be really cool. Also, can I dig this up? Oh, cool. Is there gonna be like a bone or something? Oh my gosh, there's a bone! We just dug up a bone to eat! How cool is that? Now we have a little bit of energy again. Well, that's fun. Is that a snake? What is this? And I think as a stray dog, city living is pretty rough. So occasionally we might need to come over. Ah, take that! Take that snake! And we might have to actually fight the snakes. This actually makes me miss Ultimate Fox Simulator so much. Oh my goodness, it's a danger noodle. 
time to eat it. How many of you guys think we should do another round, another season of Ultimate Fox Simulator again? Because that was really amazing, and I have been feeling very much like returning to Ultimate Forest Simulator. I am always totally shocked and blown away at how popular they are, how much you guys love them, and how fun it is to try our lives at uh, living the wildlife. Can I, can I shake this? Ah, darn. Okay, so you can't get any fruit to eat. Which is funny because Great Danes are actually a species that, or a breed, I should say. I keep saying species. But Great Danes are actually a breed that my family used to have. We had several Great Danes uh, growing up. The fawn coat is like this color coat that you'll normally see. We never clipped our Danes ears either. They have the cutest ears. I always get so sad when I see Great Danes with clipped ears. We're looking for water right now, by the way, because they have the cutest, floppiest ears and the biggest little funky eyebrows. And they're just so expressive. Their ears are like half of their expression. And and I love big floppy ears on my Great Danes. So, okay, are we gonna find any water over here? What's this? It's a turtle! But more importantly, it's some water. So let's go get some water and then we might paw at that turtle a little bit. If we can eat this, the wildlife, whoops. Oh, wow, I'm swimming. Hey, cool, okay. That's cool and all, but I just wanna get a drink for a second. All right, let's come over here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when we have fallen into the water. Oh dear, it's this again. Let's see if there's an easier spot along the river bank to be able to get some water. Uh, let's see, maybe a little bit closer. A little bit closer down here. Okay, let's come down. There, that's a little bit better. There we go. All right, there you go, Fawn. So her story is going to be that her owners abandoned her. It's so sad. They just kind of kicked her right out of the car and left her right on the edge of town and left because they were moving to another place. And she doesn't really know what to do. Is she going to be able to find people to live with? Can she find like people that could give her a new home? Is she going to have to attack danger noodles and look for food like a wild dog? a wild stray dog or will she be able to move into town Ooh, a duck you're not exactly a hunting labrador but let's have her go after that duck really quickly come on miss quack quack i'm very sorry fawn's a very hungry very big dog and having owned many great danes yes all right and we leveled up but having owned many great danes i can promise you they do eat quite a bit it's kind of funny because Great Danes actually have to eat in a special bowl that's the same height as their head. If they eat uh, at the wrong angle, like if they eat food on the ground, they can actually flip their stomachs. Great Dane ownership is very complicated. <laughs> All right, we don't have any points to be able to upgrade any of her skills just yet, so it doesn't look like she has gained anything to be able to improve her dogginess. But we have made our way into a small town. So let's take a moment to peek at the map, you guys. It looks like there is a big town section right down here with three possible dens. Those little circles with the question marks that you see are three places that we could have dens down here in town. And I guess you would call them houses. We could call them dens as a dog. Um, that's a good question, actually. Like, what would we call them if they're a home for our dog? Looks like there's one in the wild up here. Oh, wow, there's a big giant mountain and there's some snow up there. So if we wanted to live up in the snow, that's an option. But being a Great Dane, we don't have a lot of fur. We get cold pretty easy. So I get the feeling that our lovely fawn here would be quite happy with trying to find maybe a new home, maybe eating squirrels in the backyard. The Ultimate Simulator games definitely are a little bit rougher around the edges if you're trying not to uh, not to like kill things because you usually have to. And I usually say if we end up, oh, there's fireflies at night. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, I think she would try to eat those too. I know my Great Danes would definitely try that. Now, my Great Danes were actually very gentle, too. We had a guinea pig that Simone, our spotted Great Dane, really loved being able to uh, hang out with. Always supervised in, like, my mom's bedroom. But she would lick the guinea pig from head to toe, and Robert thought that was amazing. I, we were really worried it would upset him, but Robert, our guinea pig, actually <laughs> really loved Simone. And so she would lay down on the bed, and he would just run up and down her back, chuckling and kicking his little back legs like guinea pig 
pigs do when they're happy. It was so adorable. So dogs are definitely a lot more gentle hearted than what you might see in Ultimate Dog Simulator. However, it is a rough life when you don't have an owner of your own to take care of you. And here Fawn is lost and kind of abandoned in town, left in the rain. And we're going to have to see what her story is going to be. Is she going to be able to find herself a place in this world? Is she going to be able to find a home? Are there humans out there that would possibly take her in? Or is she going to have to go ahead and become a stray dog living on the edge of the wild and hopefully finding a pack that can become strong enough to take down large prey items and keep her alive and well. So I don't know, is she going to be a stray dog? Is she going to be a dog that ends up finding a house? Are we close to a den? Let's see, we'll start angling for that, that house and we'll also have to try to keep her alive. Because if she starves or if she doesn't find enough water, she possibly could, could like pass away and then we'd have to start over with a new dog. But I actually really enjoy and love the Ultimate Simulators, mostly for the amazing stories and, interestingly enough, the role-playing that you guys tend to get to. Oh no! It's another dog! Is it a dog? Is it another dog? Is it gonna fight me? Oh no, it's fighting me! We have wandered into another dog's yard! We have entered their territory! Now we're in a fight for our life. Oh, this is how the ultimate simulators go, just to give you guys a heads up. Oh, I'm so sorry. And then this is the awkward part of the ultimate simulators where it's like, what, the dog is eating the other dog? It's a literal dog eat dog world. Well, I usually pretend when those moments happen, we didn't actually eat the other dog. <laughs> Because that's a little bit weird. We pretend that we just defeated the other dog and he ran back inside. So that's what we're going to say. Also, what's that? Is that more food? Fawn has an endless stomach. Oh my gosh! Is this a trash can? Our very own trash can! <gasps> we just knocked some meat out of this trash can! Oh, this is so cool! This is awesome! We just got a whole bunch of meat from this trash can. I want to find all the trash cans and rummage around inside of them. Are you kidding me? That is so neat! I think that would be the most awesome little, little thing to be able to do. <laughs> just dig inside these trash cans and knock them down. That is so awesome. I gotta- Fawn, what do you- what do you think about this? Okay, she's not doing too bad. Oh, there's Fawn's rump. Okay, still your rump, Fawn. I wanted to kind of get a- there we go. A good look of Fawn with her new best friend, the trash can. The trash can that had a whole bunch of cool meat inside of it. I'm sure she's very happy about that. But yeah, I actually can't believe how much I have missed these because it may seem like a simple premise, but holy days. Trust me, you guys really make it all so interesting, especially with the role playing that happens. Some of you like have role played as other animals that watch the animal that we are playing as. Some of you have started your own wild fox role plays or some of your own little cat role plays, city cat role plays in the comments. I adore that. I think it's so much fun. It makes it super awesome for me to enjoy and it's also great just to swap stories about the animals that we have had how many of you have had what the heck is this stick doing in the middle of the yard I'm so curious I'm so curious I think that unlike being a curious cat who just can't stay out of everything fawn is curious because she's like can I eat it can I play with it is it can somebody come play fetch with her please Look at this big stick. We need somebody to come play fetch with us. Come on. Where's a human? Where's a really big human to come play fetch with us right now? <laughs> but I think Fawn's curiosity, rather than being the kind of curiosity a cat has, would definitely be motivated mostly out of the desire mostly out of the desire to find something to eat. So yeah, guys, please go wild. Share stories about your dogs in the comments. I absolutely love reading them. And how many of you have had the opportunity, that's a gigantic rock that somebody just has for some decorative reason, but how many of you guys have had the opportunity to actually have a great day? Because I think that they're probably probably my top three favorite dog breeds ever because we've had so many of them in my life. And also, you guys, I think on this cold, rainy, wet night, Fawn has just managed to discover a house. A house we might be able to wander right into. Possibly because somebody, apparently, might have left some barbecue on the ground. Can I eat it? Can I eat it? Oh my goodness. And the rain has stopped. All right. Well, that's pretty exciting. 
<laughs> it looks like we have found our first house, you guys. Our very first den. We might even be able to go inside of there. So maybe our lost little dog fawn won't be lost and won't be lonely for much longer. All right, so next task, try to get ourselves inside, find a nice place to sleep, eat a whole bunch of things, get some human pets, and then possibly find a, a lovely handsome dog that Fawn might be able to have some beautiful babies with. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.